and a professional way to be like a professional speech getting gets to know at least five or six people. So you need to be quick speech dating. And then you realize this person I can talk to. My name is Theodros Meheret. I'm uh, the outgoing president of the Ethiopia Lawyers Association. Yeah, the East African uh, International Arbitration Conference uh, is uh, being held in Ethiopia now. I'm Duncan Backshaw. I'm a barrister at Stevenson Harwood, which is a law firm with nine offices. I'm based in London. The East Africa International Arbitration Conference is one of the preeminent events that happens in Africa in relation to arbitration. We support it because it's a regional conference, it brings together lawyers and other stakeholders from multiple jurisdictions, and it's a conference which is discussing the difficult issues at the highest level. Thank you very much for coming to the sixth annual East Africa International it is my great honor to welcome you to my home at the It is my great honor to welcome you to the African Union. Collective optimism about our ability to create one African market can be a self fulfilling prophecy. It will energize us to succeed. The Ethiopian Investment Commission is mandated uh, to promote and facilitate uh, foreign direct investment schemes in the region. It is a to review the majority award given by the arbitrators under the EDF. We've had numerous arbitrations that's come in, so I think one of the ways probably that to minimize costs could be for the law societies of various jurisdictions or states to prop probably consider setting up like an arbitration scheme within the law society itself. And this often we are giving this to the other person that we are after again and with the process we are Most of the retainers in the world is no online transactions. They are most of them are closing. Now, my take is that is there's going to be any success in the enforcement of arbitral awards. And therefore for us, I think our major focus should ensure that the rats actually are working. Accord to the positive obligation on investment. When a, a supermarket opens, you can probably imagine this, the first few weeks, a few customers come. Then the next few weeks, more and more and more. So the sales profile of a, of a new supermarket is kind of upwards, upwards like this for the first year. Whereas, it, whereas a, once it's established, it's, it's flat. So we had to take account of all of that. I'm Tom Snyder. I'm a partner and head of arbitration at Altamini & Company in Dubai, a full-time arbitration practitioner. I recently relocated to Dubai uh, about a year and a half ago from the States. Um, throughout my career, I've done a lot of work in Africa. Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about Chinese investment in Africa, but we're seeing a lot of investment in Africa from the Gulf states particularly in East Africa, but other places as well. Um, so for me, it, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, some of it is personal. I have been doing a lot of work in Africa, Ethiopia in particular, over the years. But I think at a macro level, it makes a lot of sense as well. Uh, the first conference, I believe, took place in Addis. So this is something of a return to Ethiopia. And I think the presence of such a wide range of figures from all over the continent and internationally reflects the way that the conference has built in profile. 
over the last few years. Um, what started off as sort of a uh, smallish endeavor uh, in 2013 has, has traveled around the region to uh, uh, Kenya and Tanzania and Uganda, uh, last year in Rwanda and now back here uh, to Addis. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day two of EAC 2018. It is uh, a great honor for me to deliver a keynote speech at this important conference and to receive you in the capital of Africa on behalf of the oldest and largest bar association in Ethiopia. The 2018 conference has been, I think, one of the best attended conferences and I think that's building on the reputation that the conference has gained over the last few years. It provides us to exchange ideas on how to enable more participation by establishing medical professionals in the system of the streets through our nutrition and discrete resolution. Uh, I'm Lawrence Shore. I'm a partner in the International Arbitration Group at Bonelli Aretti in Milan. And I'm delighted to be here, first time in Addison, first time at the East African International Arbitration Conference. I know this is a conference that has been very successful in the past, and for me, it's been a, a very great learning experience. I'm Megadeth and I'm an attorney here in Ethiopia and I'm with Masnit Hassan Associates Law Office which is a, a, an office that specializes in corporate and commercial law and I do, we do a lot of uh, corporate advisory and uh, legal representation to a lot of our clients which are primarily uh, foreign investors and we do uh, uh, advise uh, clients coming in, into the country from the very beginning when they set up their businesses in Ethiopia and all the way to uh, dispute resolution. Uh, I think, uh, first of all, uh, the fact that there is a, a focus given on alternative dispute resolution mechanisms, arbitration being one of them, uh, I think that's very interesting from us because as a country, uh, a lot of the cases that we have done in the past uh, take uh, the root of uh, litigation. Also, I think there's a great sensitivity now to the need to involve international practitioners from Africa in the arbitration process because without it, it, it lacks legitimacy. Uh, and it, it won't have a future.